hello, this is Derek Ross with Fandroid.com, and I have with me the Amazon Echo as well as my Nexus 6. And we're going to do a quick comparison of the Google app versus Alexa on the Amazon Echo. And as you can see, Alexa lit up when I said her name there. So let's go ahead and get started here with some basic questions. So I'm going to hit the search button or the microphone button on my Nexus 6, and then I'm going to tap the button on the Amazon Echo. What's the temperature in San Francisco? Right now in San Francisco, it's California, it's 67 degrees, in San Francisco degrees right with now. mostly sunny skies. Tonight's forecast has clear skies and a low of 51 degrees. As you can see, Alexa gives a little bit more information mm -hmm. about the temperature. And the temperature is a little bit different. Uh, Google said 60 degrees and our friend Alexa here said 67 degrees so that's obviously varying by the the source of information but they both res responded quite fast let's ask another question here who is the president of the united states the u.s president is barack, barack obama. obama is the president of the united states of america as you can see amazon echo was a tad bit faster there so let's uh let's continue here how old is he? Sorry, I didn't understand the question. He is 53 years old. And that's one of the downfalls right there of the Amazon Echo is that Alexa does not have conversational search. So you can't Sorry, continue asking can't questions. When did he graduate? Sorry, I can't find the answer to the question. According to 2012 presidential election, Procon.org, Barack Obama entered Harvard Law. Now, as you can see, once again... Sorry, I can't find the answer to the <laughs> question I heard. As you can see, once again, you know, conversational search is definitely a plus with the Google app. Now, let's uh, do something that Alexa does excel at. Hmm. Well. I'm not... Hmm. I can't find... Listen to Daft Punk Contact. Contact by Daft Punk. <laughs> Listen to Daft Punk Contact. Play Contact by Daft Punk. Now, besides the two fighting there for a second and hearing each other talk, you can see that they're both playing right now. And you can hear them as well. One of the things, though, that Alexa does better. Turn the volume up. And Alexa made it louder. Alexa, stop. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. So you can't do that. I can't tell Google to stop playing. I really wish I could, but Alexa is better. Hmm. In that I'm regard. I'm not sure what you meant by that question. And I can't keep referring to her as name, her by that name because she's going to keep popping up and causing problems. So <laughs> let's move on. How long is the movie Insurgent? I wasn't able to understand Insurgent's the question. Insurgent's running time is 119 minutes. Uh, let's try that again, but I don't think Alexa knows movie information. How long is the movie Insurgent? I wasn't able to understand the question I heard. Okay, let's try something else. Who's the governor of Pennsylvania? Pennsylvania's political Tom leader Wolf is Tom Wolfe. Governor Wolf. of Pennsylvania. Now, of course, with Google, I could continue asking questions about Tom Wolf if I wanted to. With a uh, with uh, the Amazon Echo, you cannot. Let's uh, try something else here. Set alarm for 10 p.m. Alarm set for 10 o'clock. Setting this alarm evening. for 10 p.m. Now, in all these cases here, Alexa, and she's going to pop up here, is slightly faster than Google's offering, and that's 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 very nice. Uh, there's no delay. Mm. All right, let's ask another question here. What was the score of the Penguins game last night? 
I don't know the score the yet for the Pittsburgh the Penguins game two. at 7.30 p.m. earlier today. So Google gave me the score from last night's game, whereas the Amazon Echo was trying to get information from tonight's game, even though I clearly said last night. Let's give him uh, the Amazon Echo another shot here. What was the score of the Penguins game last night? I don't know the score yet for the Pittsburgh Penguins game at 7.30 Alexa, p.m. earlier today. stop. So, she wants to get the score of today's game and not last night's game, which I clearly asked. All right, let's ask another question here before we wrap up. How old is the oldest living tree? Sorry, I don't know the answer. 5,000 years, according to Mental Floss, Methuselah, a bristlecone pine tree from... So obviously, Google's knowledge graph is more extensive than what the Amazon Echo can tie into. Google, in their knowledge graph, provides more information and sometimes better information when comparing the two. The Amazon Echo, though, is quite useful for playing music, controlling music, manipulating music. You can change the volume up or down, pause, play, resume, stop, fast forward, rewind, skip songs, and it all works quite well. Whereas the Google app doesn't do anything whenever music is playing. So we have to give the Amazon Echo points in that category. But when it comes to a comparison in Google search, I think that the Google app is far superior in that regard. Once again, this is Derek Ross with Fandroid.com, and we are comparing the Amazon Echo to the Google app. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for our full review.